Sup guys, in this video I want to talk to you about how sleep can improve your discipline. Among other things that sleep helps us improve in terms of our productivity, such as increased focus, increased memory, better creativity, and better management of tasks, sleep also restores all areas and refreshes all areas of our brain, if we get enough of sleep, of course. One of these areas in our brain that is refreshed is the prefrontal cortex. Now, this area is the newest addition to our noggins, newest being uh, a subjective term, and it's probably billions of years old. But in terms of evolution, it's pretty new, and it's the newest. So it doesn't matter that it's still quite old. It's the part of our brain that you would attribute conscious thinking to. It's responsible for the regulation of our emotions and our impulses. It helps regulate, like you might have a thought about doing something, but you sort of stop halfway through and you're like, wait, is this appropriate? And you say, no, well, then you don't do it. That's your prefrontal cortex in action. The prefrontal cortex then is a sort of willpower center. Here, every here, every thought and emotion or impulse is evaluated and dealt with accordingly. If a thought is actually something you do want to do, you think about it like, yeah, I want to do this, you do it. If you don't want to do this, it stops. Now, if this area of our brain is blunted, for example, by drugs such as alcohol, our ability to filter out our thoughts and actions and to do what is sort of appropriate and say what is appropriate becomes hindered. We say stuff we don't really mean, we do stuff we didn't really think through, and you sort of just lose control over what you generally say and do. This can also happen, apart from drugs, because of a lack of sleep. Your body and brain don't function very well when they're on a lack of sleep. They need that restorative action and there's like many studies where they like they don't do this anymore where they deprive people and they literally measured the chances of dying and it's pretty brutal like within a month you would probably be dead if you didn't sleep for like a month straight you would probably be dead that means <laughs> apart from death that's if you don't sleep at all if you don't get enough sleep is a different thing and that means if you don't get enough sleep, your willpower will be greatly affected. That means your ability to resist temptations and to not sin or not fap, not play video games, not eat that junk food is going to be blunted. To boost your willpower quite significantly, all you need to do is get enough sleep during the night. I found this numerous times where I was struggling to hold my impulses together and I was just like saying, fuck it, I'm gonna go to sleep. And in the morning, I woke up refreshed, full of willpower, and I just did something super productive. I just worked off first hour and I did half of my tasks for the day. That was just because I slept and my prefrontal cortex, the willpower center, was restored. Even a nap is going to help, right? If you're struggling and it's the afternoon hours, like 3 or 4 p.m., taking a nap will help. You might not fall asleep, but you will be able to rest and your body and brain will restore some of its function. Even if you don't get into like deep sleep or even REM sleep, if you just are basically almost awake and still just thinking. Now, not everyone can get the best amount of sleep or the amount they need. That could be because of things they don't control, such as their jobs, maybe they have a newborn baby, or maybe they actually have sleep disorders. If you do have sleep disorders or you feel like you have one, I highly recommend just visiting a, visiting a doctor because I'm not an expert in this topic, I am. I'm not a doctor, I can't tell you what to do practically. Unfortunately, it's not that easy if you have a sleep disorder, but there's a high chance you don't have a sleep disorder and that you can do something to increase the amount of sleep you get, or at least the bedtime. A great thing to increase the amount of sleep you get during bedtime is to sleep, is to fall asleep and wake up at usually the same time every single day, even on weekends. That does involve using alarm clocks, which I hate personally, but it does help and you just feel better. You do feel better. You'll get used to it after a while. Make sure you get at least like nine hours of bedtime because your body doesn't sleep for all the time that is spent in bed, which makes sense. You take time to fall asleep. You might wake up in the middle of the night and you might wake up a little bit before you are actually supposed to wake up. And so getting nine hours of bedtime is 
probably ideal for getting eight hours of sleep. I usually sometimes crank out like eight hours and 30 minutes of sleep. If I do have nine hours of bedtime, sometimes I crank out less than eight hours of sleep because I don't know, I'm just gonna fall asleep. Exercise can help with that and that you are tired and your body is more likely to fall asleep. And going outside is going to greatly help because your circadian rhythm is gonna have something to go off of. If you want to learn more about the topic of sleep, from like a scientific perspective, I highly recommend reading the book, Why We Sleep by Matthew Walker. Thanks for watching the video guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.